Again, Nereshav is everybody. Welcome to Jerry's Corona Contemplations for Parshiot Kitavo Nitzavim Vayelech. Um, was out of the country last week, so I uh, didn't get to do Kitavo. But um, the themes are quite similar and very interconnected. So uh, I think it'll hopefully all work very nice together. Um, so in the, in the Parshiot, we are told primarily about the blessings and curses, if you will, um, that will befall B'nai Yisrael if they don't listen to the word of Hashem. Um, it's up in Bayelach. And the parsha, uh, Parshat Kitavo begins with Vidui Bikurim, that when uh, we camp, we come into the land, we give the Bikurim and we bring them to the Beit HaMikdash and we say a, <clears throat> a certain formula and we'll see how that's all connected with the Brachot and Klalot. And most importantly, the beginning of uh, Parshat Kitavo are the Brachot that will if we follow the word of Hashem in Eretz Yisrael, as we will see, Baruch Atah B'Vawecha O Baruch Atah we will always be blessed in all of our endeavors. And we, we hope and pray that uh, going through these difficult times as we are with uh, Corona and what's going on in the States and what's going on in Eretz Yisrael, it's just, it's a very, very trying time, a time when we're all being tested and as we are a week away from Rosh Hashanah, let's keep in mind that the brachot are given when we follow the word of Hashem and chas v'shalom what happens um, if we don't. But this is one of the things that really struck me, and, and I have to talk about this. Um, in, in the Vidui Bikurim, at the beginning of Parshat Kitavo, but when Hashem is uh, giving us all these blessings, it says, V'samachta b'chol hatov asher natan lecha Adonai Eloheinu u'levetecha. You will be happy with all the good that Hashem has given you and your house. Uh, and this is during the video of Samachta Bachalatov, Shabbat and Machajan, the Hataba Levi, Vagar, Asher Bishar, Bikir Becha. This is like when we bring the, the first fruits and we are, we're showing Hashem how thankful we are for the plenty, for the largesse that He's given us. What does the Torah say? V'samachta b'cholatov. You will be happy with all the good. Now, that could be read a couple of different ways, but it could be read as because of all this great uh, largesse and all the good that Hashem has given us, we will be happy because when someone has it good, they're happy, right? Or it could be read a different way. V'samachta b'chol hatov. You have a commandment to be happy. Throughout, uh, we're already Baruch Hashem, we're coming in on Hazinu V'zot HaBracha, we started this, you know, this endeavor of doing these videot, uh, videot, the good one, the videos, <laughs> you could write, you could quote me on that one, the videot, the, uh, all these videos, and the theme that we started with even from the very beginning, Bereshit, and hopefully we'll be revisiting that in a couple of weeks, was the attitude of gratitude. Look at what it says in the curses, in the klalot, in the tochecha. Tachat, uh, why is all this bad stuff going to happen to you? And we've seen bad stuff, Rabbi Osei. I mean, we could write a book on bad stuff, whether we're talking about inquisitions or holocausts or plagues. Tachat asher lo avadata et Hashem elokecha besimcha uvetuv levav why merov kol what, why are we, what, why does bad stuff happen? Because we don't serve Hashem. Look what it says. Not that you don't do the mitzvos. I we do the mitzvos. Besimcha uvetuv levav may rov kol, because you have it too damn good. And you don't appreciate the little things that Hashem gives you. Let me give you an example of what this could mean. You're preparing for Shabbos, you're cleaning for Shabbos, your wife's working in the kitchen and you've got the broom, or you're following her around the kitchen cleaning up or doing the dishes. 
or you're getting up for minion. It's early. You're going to Myrav. It's late. So you could say, Baruch Hashem, I get to prepare for Shabbos. Baruch Hashem, I get to go to Minyan. Or you could say, ay, 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 every week the same thing. Ay, I can't stand it already. You do it, but with a kvetch. I can't believe I have to get up this early to go daven. With a kvetch. Oh, I have to put on tefillin. I was once taught, you don't have to put on tefillin, you get to put on tefillin. It's a zchus. That's the difference of how you look at a mitzvah. So, what do you think that, like, from people do the mitzvahs? I mean, but it's what attitude we have when we do the mitzvahs. That's where the blessing or the curse comes from. So Hashem is telling us, I said, I quoted uh, the great Rabbi, Rabbi Victor Miller, Zechatzadik, Vikaydish Lavrachas, Chusa Young in Aleinu. Rav Miller used to say, Visamachta Bechol Hatov. It's a mitzvah saseh to, to do the mitzvahs. For best results, said Rav Miller, use only as directed. That's how the life will work the best. Could you do it a different way? Yeah, but it's like, putting that Ikea structure together without the instructions and then at the end you're holding three pieces and what did I do? Will it work? Yeah, it'll work, but it won't be perfect. Rav Miller tells us, for best results, follow the directions in the user's manual. Visamachta bechol hatov. Not only as a result, but as a mitzvah saseh. You want life to work out well? Be happy when you do a mitzvah. If you're not happy doing a mitzvah, get happy doing a mitzvah. Work on it. And then your life will be good because visamachta. And if you don't, you might still do the mitzvahs, but tachas asher lo avadata Hashem alokecha besimcha uvetuv levav merov kol. On one hand, we have the vidui bekorim thanking Hashem for all the good he does for us. And on the other side, rachman alitzlan, we have our soldiers, but our soldiers came to us at a very high price. There are two memorial days in Israel. There's Holocaust Memorial Day and IDF Memorial Day, when we remember those who fell in battles and terrorist attacks. One of us teaches us the price of having a Jewish state, and the other one teaches us the price of not having one. Uvacharta Bachayim. Choose life. Hine Natati Lefanechem Hayom etatovi et Haravi etatovi et Hayim viet Hamavet viet Harat. Hayim viet Atovi et Hamavet viet Harat. I am putting before you today life and good or death and evil. Uvacharta Bachayim. Choose life again. It's a mitzvah sase. <laughs> Choose life. Make the right choice. When, when you have before you the opportunity to do a mitzvah or chas v'shalom, the opposite, make the right choice and do it with happiness. Uvacharta b'chayim. This is what Rav Miller was telling us. You have an opportunity. Choose life. Make the right choice. And how do we do that? Well, this, in this week's parsha, Nitzavim, we're taught. Hashem will return you and return your families. The kibetzcha mikal amim, you will be gathered from all the nations where you have been scattered. And realize that one of the one of the klalot, one of the final klalot in in the tochacha in parsha last week's parsha was you will be scattered to the nations, Rabbi Sai. Gullus is a klala. It's written in the Taichacha, and we know it never ends well. Part of doing tshuva is coming home. It's one of the biggest tshuvot. Lashuv to Eretz Yisrael. Between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we're going to read Parshas. Shuva, shuvu, shuvu. Return. It doesn't only mean to do tshuva, to, to, to improve one's deeds. Avada. 
but it also means to come home. It says, "Veviach Hashem alokecha ela aretz asher Yashu avasecha verishta." Right? We will be returned to those shores. Right? And it says that Hashem will umal Hashem alokecha eslavavcha v'eslavav zarecha. Hashem will ki'ilu circumcise our hearts, meaning bring us back to Hashem, to love Hashem and to do His mitzvos. To love Hashem and to do His mitzvos. And one of the biggest parts of that is returning to Eretz Yisrael. Because remember, the mitzvot weren't really given to be done in Chutz Laaretz. Golos is a curse. It's not supposed to be fun. Right? And to put it in our hearts and in the hearts of our children to love Hashem and to love His Holy Land. That's part of the big tshuva. And in this week's parshiot, we are taught just how important that is. Remember, it says... Vahaya kitavo el haaretz. And how many times between Parshiot, Kitavo, Nitzav, and Vayelech does it say, Al haaretz, El haaretz, Al haadama, Asher nishbati la Avram, Uli Yitzchak, Uli Yaakov, Latet lahem, Uli Zaram. That's where the mitzvot are to be done and where we all belong. And as part of our tshuva in Chaydish Elul, and before and between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, let's remember where we belong. And my God, if this past year, 5780, hasn't taught us anything, is that we aren't safe anywhere but home. Shabbos Himakara Bracha Eden Yisrael Nagal and Ella Bischut HaShabbos. It's a few minutes to Shabbos in Eretz Yisrael. We have a, f- a few hours left in uh, Chutz Laaretz, but realize that Shabbos is the source of all blessing. Again, a quiet Shabbos at home. No one's going too far. If the shuls are open, it's uh, probably a very light crew. So let's appreciate our time with our families. Let's enjoy our our Shabbat and spend one extra second, one extra minute thinking about Hashem, talking to our children about Hashem, talking in Torah, and enjoying our families. Join us back here for Rosh Hashanah coming up. This week, hopefully, we'll have some interesting things on uh, Tkiat Shofar and uh, some of them in Hagim of Rosh Hashanah and the Kriyasa Torah, of course, for Rosh Hashanah. Thank you all for joining us. Have an absolutely wonderful last Shabbat of 5780. Shabbat Shalom.